Hello and welcome, I'm Mensa Augustine. In this lesson, we're solving this tricky Olympiad math problem. Now let's see how we do this. We've been given 3 plus 24 plus 81 plus 192 plus 375 plus total up to plus 3000. So what is the value of this? Now, let us check this. If we take 3 from 24, we get 21. If we take 24 from 81, we'll not get 21. So this is not a linear. A relation. If we divide 24 by 3, we get 8. If we divide 81 by 24, we're not getting 8. So it is not an exponential relation or something like that. Now, what could it be? Okay, look at this. Let us consider the, 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 the first term, which is the smallest term, right? And see if we can factorize it out. It may uh, lead to something. Always uh, check. Uh, or think inside the box, don't think outside the box, right? So let's do that. 3 will divide itself 1. 3 will divide this 1, 8. 3 will divide this 27. Can 3 divide 1 and 92? Let's check and see. 1, 9, 2. Divided by 3. 3 will go into 19 um, 6 times. That is 18. So this is 1, 2, yeah. 3 will go here, 4. Okay, 64. Then can 3 go into 375? 375. 3 will go into 37. 3, 11, 33. And 3, 12, 36. So 12. That is 36. If we subtract, we get 15. 3 will go here, 5. Okay. Then can, 3 can go here. So let us factorize the 3 out. So we take 3 out into 1 plus 8 plus 27 plus 64, plus 125, plus dot, 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 up to plus 1,000. Wow. Now, look at this. Wow. We have the keep numbers. One keep is one, two keep is eight, three keep is 27, four keep is 65, sorry, 64, five keep is 125, and this is 10 keep. So we can write this one as three into one keep plus two keep plus three keep plus sixty. Oh, sorry. Four keep plus five keep plus ten keep. Wow! And we have a very nice um expression for sum of the keeps. So we take three into that expression is n into n plus one, all divided by two. Right. Check the comment section or the description for how to prove this formula using the principle of mathematical induction. Okay, so this is the end term. So that is 10. So this gives 3 into 10 into that is 11. That is 10 plus 1 divided by 2 all squared. So this can be written as 3 into 2 will go into 10, 5, right? Then we have 11, all squared. So this is going to give us um, 3 times 5 times 5 times 11 times 11. Because we have 11 squared, 5 squared. So 5 will multiply itself twice. 11 will multiply itself twice. Wow. And we are good to go. So how do we do that? Um, this is um, 5 times 5, 25. Times 3, 75. So we have 75 times 11 times 11, which is quite uh, easier for us to do. So this is the same as 75 times 10 plus 1 times another 10 plus 1. So 75 times 10 is 750 plus 75. Wow. Okay, let's re maintain this one. Oh, okay, okay, that, that one, let's maintain it into 10 plus 1. So what would this be? 750 plus 75, we have 5 
to 8, 8 around 25. So this is going to give us 825 times 10 plus 1. So this gives us 8250 plus 825. Wow. So let's see. We put this one there and add 5, 2, 8. Okay. So this will give us 5, 7, 2 plus 8 is 10, 0 remainder 1, 9. Wow. So we have 9,075 as the sum of what we have here in a very simple way. Thank you for watching. Please, for amazing videos like this, like, share, comment, and follow my page for us to build a mathematics community.